Hey everyone. So Irfan had been adding a lot of stuff to his version of prompt assistant and we noticed it was slowing down some. And so he reported it back to the developer, which is Isaiah's. And uh, we started optimizing the approach. And so we did two different things that we did and we don't have to get into specifics, but what was really cool was we were showing how this optimization, how much is it changing the size of the database, which on its own isn't an issue, but because we're creating GUIs, that does slow down our program. Yes, it does. So it it usually the the amount of time it takes for it to load would depend on the computer. In mine, I didn't really notice the difference, but in some computers, it might be so slow that it's annoying. So what was part of the problem? You see these menus they have this icon. This is kind of like a default icon. And if you don't assign an icon to your menu, it gets assigned that one automatically. The same happens with text. If you don't assign an icon for your for whatever you're doing, right? What it does is that it assigns this text icon by default. But when we started up with the database, you will notice that this database is 24 megabytes. The reason for that is that every time you were adding another thing, I was storing the icon, the full icon over and over again. So this 24 megabytes of data, it's just trash. And that's so, what we're going to fix really quickly now. To clarify, it was the default icon that's built into it. If you didn't assign one, it still just you know repeated, created a new copy of that same original icon. Right. So... We I just started with the default icons. And, and again, these icons, depending on how they were created, they could be about, you know, 80 kilobytes, but they could also be five megabytes each, right? So now, th this is a base 64 version of the icon. Just to exactly. So look we, at it go, what? Yeah. <laughs> the the binary code for the icon, it has been converted to base 64. And I just grabbed those two default ones. And if I go to the items here, every single item on the list then gets assigned an icon. Now, that is the problem right here. Um, let me refresh the database. And yeah, so you understand, we we actually did this and realized what a big benefit it was. And we said, let's go we back showed, and, right. and, and show. <laughs> so yeah. What I did, you cannot see it right now. You, you can see these numbers here, the one in here. So I just replaced the full icons because they were like this the whole way, like up to the bottom, right? So each item had their own icons. What I did was just replace the ones that were the menu. This is the menu icon. I just went to the items and replaced their icon with the number one. And the other ones, which are the text, I just replaced it with the number two. So I just replaced that in the database. Now, as you can see, the database is still 24 megabytes. And this is the part that Joe was saying, yeah, you have to know that even though you make those type of changes, you have to use a, a, a service called vacuum um, the database. And when you vacuum the database, data that has been replaced gets removed from the database. Because if not, they keep on a copy in case you want to go back. That's what happens. Mm. So now I go ahead and do this. I vacuum that up. It says that it finished. And if I go outside now, the whole database is shrinked down to 3.5 megabytes just because of that one thing. And I was telling Joe, still, we have a little bit of work to do because here, those icons, they they were their original size. So what we might want to do is resize them to um, a very basic size. Like most of the times when I'm working with those menus, check this out, um, for the menus, those icons that I'm looking at are 16 by 16 or 32 by 32. If I want them a little bit bigger, it would be 32 by 32. So why not just resize everything I put in the database into a standardized size? Once I do that, I guarantee that this size is going to shrink down a little bit more, which let is me, what we need to do. Let me explain that a little, just a bit, one more level, which I don't think was clear. When we add an icon, we're picking a file that might be like four megs in size. Yes. Right? Like it's a, um, are they PNG? Remind me, like, I don't remember. It depends. It, okay. we're, we're using icon files. And oh. for example, these ones, uh, there might be, uh, yeah, look at that one, 76 <laughs> megabytes Funny. as yeah. an icon, right? Yeah. So icons could have any size whatsoever, which is okay. 
But when I'm going to be saving that into my database, I should definitely not save it in the original size because yeah. it's going to take too much space on my database for nothing. Because in the end, what I'm going to be showing is a very tiny icon. So I should do that. Um, and that's the next step. I, I don't think I'm going to do it in this video because I have to create a little script that will go icon by icon, load it, resize it, and put it back in there. Now, let me so, ask you this. Go back to our table. Are you going to have it where no matter what, like they get referenced to the other table as a number? Because what if I use the same icon three or four times? You're getting into the... <laughs> so, yes. Um, I haven't decided that yet. We As we have been trying to deliver the or you know release it we have been doing stuff like for quick my idea is yes i should have a table of icons and if i the think icon so it has been there the icon is used several times right. i should just use the one that i have but that means every time you add an icon i have to hash it yeah right. hash it to verify and have a hash for each of them you see what i mean oh, because yeah. if not how how would i know that i already have the icon or something right. So it is, yeah. um, and the thing is for me, like I almost never repeat using an icon. It's kind of the right. point of having the icon is it's easily identifiable. Right. right. So I get your also hesitation is like, is it really going to benefit us a lot? Cause uh, in my case, I already structured the database in the case that the icon must be unique. So if I convert them into base 64, I can try to add them into the database. And if I will get an error because if it is unique. And if I get an error, I just simply either um, either just not append a new one, just use the ID, for example. But the problem is in code, that is a little bit tricky. And that's why I was, yeah, let's start with the default icons first, and then we deal with everything else later. go back to the yeah. one that has the both? Because the only thing that pops in my mind, and maybe this is just because I work more in other tools and databases, is when I see data a, a field that has both this long string text and a number to me i want to say that's kind of wasting space because yes. that could be just a, a numeric and integer field that, that is 100 percent true like whenever you have and especially if you're looking at the data and it is not the same type of data you're doing something wrong now right, right. wrong right. things sometimes we do wrong things because we need it fast yeah. But yeah, that's that's basically the point. And I agree with you. That's one of the things that I want to do. And prompt assistant should also make sure that if I loaded the icon in memory, do not load it again either, which is another thing that which, uh, we haven't done yet. But yeah, that. And should. now that you said that, your whole thing about the vacuuming of data, it reminded me of kind of like garbage collection with memory, right? right. Of auto hotkey when you use it, it's it's taking up memory and then you close the thing and it goes and cleans up for you the space that it used, right? And it's kind of like the database thing here is it doesn't do it automatically. You have to go back or an Outlook PST file thing too. If you compress it, go through and have it compress it. Even though you put stuff in your trash and deleted your trash, that PST file will stay huge until you go and actually say, try to compress it. That is true. All right. Well, thanks everyone for watching. Hope you enjoyed that video, learned a little bit of stuff. If you learned something, like the video, uh, we release videos twice a week, Tuesdays and Thursdays, and we're the largest auto hockey channel out there, cranking out good stuff. Have a great day.